good. But uh, yeah, I got a shower of the shower. I like to go on a tutorial. And uh, want you to meet my new kitty real quick? <laughs> so tiny. But uh anyways, you need to stay a little bit. Look at that. Alright. Basic tutorial. Um I'm gonna be going over like this is what you first get when you open up After Effects. Um the main big window right here is your preview window. Um or your composition window if you want to call it that. Here's your project. This will contain all your files and compositions in your uh Project, so you just double click here or just go to file import but double click and then find a clip you want to import and I will just pick something real quick let's do uh, this one it's tiny so here's our file right there there you go and you need to make a new composition which is almost like a mini kind of project that acts as a uh, an element or like an extra file kind of thing that you, that you can still edit. So there's two ways to doing this. Either just go to make new composition right here, title it whatever you want, make your width and height. Uh, usually it's 1280 by 720 if you want 720p. Frame weight uh, either 59.94 for most PBRs or 27.97 for pretty much anything else. Duration, however you, long you want. Um, another way is just to take this and drag it into this button right here, new comp, and it automatically sets the resolution, the length of the composition, and frame rate and all that good stuff. So this is basically your um, your timeline down here. It'll show all your layers, like we can have multiple layers like this. You can offset them in time, etc. Um, that's pretty basic, straightforward, I hope. Um, so up here is our composition of the one we're working in, working with right here. So here's what I mean. You can uh, like, like use it as other things. Or whatever. So I made a new composition. We take there you go composition, drag that in, and this is basically that the other composition we're working on. And we can use this for you know multiple composition editings for like uh, montages take one clip put it into composition add all your effects make a new comp and take all your old other comps you know line them up however you want with music etc um, this bar right here the top one that basically zooms in and out moves it left to right you know so it's better to view um, the thick one is your preview or your work area so maybe I only want to look at, you know, from here to here. So let's zoom in like this. Boom. So I only want, let's say, from 53 seconds to 56 seconds. And then, oh, let me talk about this real quick. This is our uh, preview resolution. So you can set it to full, so you can see what actually what's happening. Or quarter to render it faster when you do the preview, ramp preview up here, just to kind of check you know, what's going on, see that? All the green bars right here is what's previewed, or what's uh, been rendered out for RAM preview. Um, up here by the project window, we have effects window. So we can uh, add effect, like, you know, color correction curves if you want, and just add, you know, some contrast curves that I've shown you this before. Do all these S curves for uh, RGB, red and green, but blue, do it the other way. Just simple little color correction. But, um, you know, add all your effects, blah, blah, blah. Uh, what else? Let's see. This is basically just an introduction just to get you used to the interface. Um, when you're done and you want to render, make sure you're in the composition that you want to render out. So this. Like pretend this is our final comp. These are all our uh, clips inside their own comps. So go to this comp and move your work area to exactly what you want to render out. So let's say 30 up to a minute. That's my exact, you know, 
what I want to enter up. So once you're in this comp and your work area is set, go to composition, add to render queue, and output module lossless. Click on that, and this changes your formats. Anything you want, I like to use QuickTime, and I go to format options. And animation is way too big, so I either go to MPEG4 or JPEG2000, and then I usually go, you know, right in the middle here, about 90, 95. Somewhere around there. Make sure to click audio, OK, output to, choose your folder and name, and then click render, and that's basically it. Um, that's super basic introduction. Let me know if you have any questions. Um, I'm going to be working on more tutorials later today, hopefully. Uh, comment with any more suggestions so I know what you guys want. And make sure to like the video. And that's about it. Yeah, bye Kitty. Okay, see you guys.